What is it? Eh? You look so quiet and moody. I am your friend and sister. Tell me what the problem is. Hmm? Chama, are you seriously asking me what the problem is? Really? You're asking me what the problem is when you already know what the problem is. Nsube, I, I don't want to believe you're still bothering yourself over nothing. Chama, do you know the gravity of the situation that is on ground right now? And you sit there and make it look like it's a very, very simple thing. Nsube, don't mess things up by yourself. I've already told you what to do. Just come and do it and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. And you think it's that easy? No, I know it's not easy. But no matter how difficult it looks like, you have to make it very simple. But I can't. I can't. Nzubechi, telling these people the truth will only make you a loser. They will see you as someone without self-respect. Yeah, cheap okay. and loose woman. And if that happens, the king will not allow any of his sons to marry you. They will send you out of this palace. Do you really want to face the wrath of the people of the Iwoha community? What are you doing here? I think the question here should be, why are you here? What's your mission here? I don't understand. What do you mean by why am I here? Prince Nina Duzie and his younger brother Prince Ubinna have been living in peace for years. And suddenly you just appear from nowhere. <laughs> and you're trying to tear them apart. And who told you she's here to tear them apart? Ask him. Actually, I haven't come here to brag what's with you. I've only come here to talk some senses into her. So young lady, I beg you in the name of whatsoever thing you respect. Please unravel this situation. And what exactly do I have to unravel? Huh? Oh, come on. Where on earth have you ever heard that a young lady got pregnant for two young men? At the same time, two biological brothers. Come on, something is wrong somewhere. And you are the only one who can help us out of this situation. And what makes you think you can walk in here and, and, and say whatever you want to say? You know what? I want you to leave this room. Get yourself out. Get leave! Out. Oh, wow. My prince, oh, what a pleasant surprise. You know, I never knew you know my place. What can I offer you? Uh, Dave, don't bother yourself. I'm okay. My prince, this is your first time being here to my place. It definitely looks somehow if, if I don't offer you anything. Dave, I know it's my first time coming to your place, but like I rightly said, don't bother. You see, I am here for us to discuss a very important issue. Uh, okay, uh, as it pleases my prince. Good. You are a very close friend to my younger brother. And as such, you must know everything about him. Right? Yes, my prince. So tell me, what do you know about him and Anzube? My prince... C can you um, make the question a little bit straight? I mean, the particular thing you, you need to know. It's okay, I'll go straight to the point. Where and when did both of them meet? Honestly, my prince, I am not comfortable with this question. But, due to the situation on ground, I'll answer you. Oh, good. Yes. I only got to know about their relationship while you were outside the kingdom for your medical treatment. Mm. Mm. I 
let's see. And uh, what about the pregnancy? Actually, I also do not know much about the pregnancy uh, because Prince Ubina kept everything to himself. Everything. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, Dave. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's nice having you, my prince. Thanks for your time. It's okay. What's all this? What's really going on? Ah. So, 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 you are the one causing havoc in this palace. Who are you? Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Sharon. I'm Prince Obina's girlfriend. What? No, no, no. Don't put up that drama with me. You act naive, yet create havoc in this palace. Listen to me. I will disgrace you. Trust me. What have I done to you and why are you talking to me like this? You think you can come from nowhere and take my man from me? Girl, you are mad. You are crazy. Because I will make sure I expose you and disgrace you out of this palace. What is wrong with you? Why can't you leave us alone? Mm, sure, sure, sure. I did not come here for you. So you better stay out of this. You witch, how long are you planning to keep this secret? I will expose you and that thing in your womb. What is going on here? <laughs> Nothing, just having a little conversation with her. <laughs> As minister of conversation or what? Leave. Because of her? And you know, I am disappointed. You should have gone for someone way, way better than me. That, that's trash. I hate repeating myself. And the next time you call my woman trash before me, I will disfigure your face. Gosh, she stinks. <laughs> She stinks! This is not over! I will come back for you! That's what it says. It is not over! Wait. My prince. Listen to me. Baby. I'm sorry, okay? Please. I'm so sorry. And you, come here. Where were you when that thing was insulting my woman? You were there moping like a moron, and someone is insulting my woman. Are you not supposed to defend her? You're not supposed to defend her. You're not supposed to defend her. You don't know that song. How does someone close your eyes? Someone is insulting my woman, and you can't. I said, kneel down, hands up, and close your eyes. You will be dead till tomorrow. I'm off here. Your face, you don't look good. Did you have a fight with someone? I never knew that Prince Opina was this stupid. 
In fact, he is the world's most stupid and useless man. What happened? To, to, to think he, he dumped me for, for, for that, that village girl, that, hey! You, you mean you, you met with the girl? I met with her. I'm just coming back from the palace. Eh? Hey! Sharon, talk to me now. Tell me, how did the meeting go? The girl, prince, everyone, just kiss me now. Monika, it did not go well. As a matter of fact, I do not want to talk about it because I'm not happy. I'm very angry. Okay, then fine. No problem if you want to talk about it. You can go inside and freshen up. I called this meeting because I want to bring this madness to an end, here and now. So, Mr. Bechi, oh, what relationship do you have or did you ever have with my son, Prince Nadozie? Speak or have you gone deaf and dumb? Don't waste our time here. Go, go it? It's all right. Please allow her. Talk to me, Nzovechi. What do you have with my son, Nadosie? I do not have anything with him. I have never seen him or had anything to do with him. In fact, the very first day I stepped my feet into this palace, was the first time to see him in my entire life. My love, you're lying. And you know it. You are lying. Tell the truth. Father, don't, don't listen to her. She's not telling the truth. Now, does it? Give it up. The game is over. Now, listen to me, Nadozi. You're my first son. The heir apparent to my throne. Everyone here knows it. Please behave like one. Henceforth, I want you to take away your face, your eyes, everything about you from this girl. She belongs to your younger brother, Prince Obina. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Agadina Wolfe. Agadi na wofe. Stay clear. Makano onyeri, edigwe. Onyeri, edigwe. This case is settled today. May you live your life. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Baby. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just want to be left alone. Why? Nothing. I am fine. It's just that I am. I've never been in such a situation before. I just need some time to clear my head. Alright, I... I understand. Take your time, okay? Trust me, you will pull through this. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
jelovu, čuku zobanju. What a world. Love. Indeed. Love is very wicked. Love. That food that looks and smells so nice when served. Tastes so delicious when eating. Yet, beneath it lies a very dangerous poison that is worse than the venom of a cobra. Love, indeed, you are very wicked and dangerous. Nzube, why did you do this to me? Why do you have to hurt the heart that loves you so much? Why do you have to betray me after all the love we shared? No, I love you. I love you so much. But I don't just want to do it with you. Why are you starting this way? Listen, it will be very painful for me to sleep with you and you leave me. But I will never leave you. That's what we always say. After sleeping with a person and then you abandon the person. This day, I swear to God, I will never leave you no matter what happens. I love you with everything that makes me who I am. It's okay, it's okay. Look, if you do not want to do it, fine. I'll give you that your hand. I will never touch you. Okay? Are you for real? You have just proven to me that you are a real man. Jose, take me. Take me and do to me whatever you wish. Are you sure, please? My love. Come. Come. Show me the man. Nzube, Nzube, why? Nzube, is this the love we promised each other? Why did you have to throw away what we shared just in this frame of time? Love. Thank you for showing me the worst side of you today. I am indeed grateful.
yeah, my friends, uh, you're sounding so so excited on the phone. Yeah, what's the secret? Is there something you think I should know? I am a winner. Yes, I have finally gotten that which belongs to me. A winner? What do you mean by that, my my prince? Sorry, sorry for my curiosity. I am talking about a The whole thing has finally been settled. But he's mine. She is mine now. Come on, how did it happen? My father called us for a meeting some hours ago. He asked Unsubi to tell him if she ever had anything to do with Prince Lazarus here. But she said no. That she doesn't even know him. As a matter of fact, the day she came to the palace was the very first day she saw Prince Lazarus here. What? Honestly, this is one of the best news I've had of recent. Uh, don't you think it calls for a celebration, my prince? What do you think? You're right! Exactly why I called you. Get dressed and meet me up at our usual spot. Exactly. Exactly, my prince. Then catch you, catch you, catch you later. I'll go get dressed. It's fine. Yeah, bye bye. Yes, my prince. Whoa! Agatha, why didn't I see you yesterday as planned? I was very busy with work at the palace. I'm really sorry for not coming. Please forgive me. Have you done what I asked you to do? Yes, yes, probably. What situation? Wait, wait, Agatha, don't tell me you've not been able to do the little assignment I gave to you. I don't understand. Agatha, are you still with me on this? Or have you been bought over? I hate that girl's passion. I honestly want to leave the palace. Did I just hear you say wanted? Meaning you've changed your mind? You have not eaten anything. For how long will you continue to do this to yourself? Mom, am I crazy? Mom, do you think something is wrong with me? Mom, do I have mental issues? No, none of the above. Nothing is wrong with you. Mom, then tell me. Why did she choose to lie against me, Mom? Why? Mom, Nusube and I had a very strong connection. 
Mom was seriously in love when she took in and she told me she was pregnant for me. Mom, I accepted. And I planned to make her my wife and she accepted. Why did she lie against me? How can she and my born child slipped off my hands just like that? Mama, I am going crazy. I need an answer. Something's gone. Someone just tell me what's yeah, going on. Calm down. Calm down. Ma, Mom, calm down, you said. How do you expect me to calm down, Mom? Tell me. How do you expect me to calm down? Mom, I'm losing it. I am going crazy. Why would she lie against me, Mom? Why? My son. If you are truly sure that pregnancy belongs to you, then you should not worry yourself. I will speak with the father to talk to his way to go for a paternity test so they can be determined with the mother of you who owns the child. You promise you will do that for me? my word for you. But before then, you just have to start eating now. I, Mom, for that singular reason, I will eat. I, I promise you, I will eat. Shall I call the man? Yes, Mama. Tell them to get my food for me. I will eat. Thank you. Ah. What is it? What do you really want from me? Sharon, I want you. Why? Oh, you want to finish what your friend started? What about you want to ruin my life? What have I done to deserve this? Look, this has nothing to do with my friend, Prince Obina. This is about me. This is about what I feel for you, Sharon. Don't you get it? David. The more I look for one reason to trust you, the more I get a thousand and one not to do so. Come on, Sharon. You are the one stopping yourself. Come on. You just have to lose him up a bit. I need to be left alone. Sharon, wait. Are you asking I should leave your house? You know, one thing I like about you is that you're very smart, very intelligent. I am happy you got it yourself. Now get out! Sharon, you're getting these things too far. Sharon! Ah, please! And what is it you said you wanted to discuss? Your Majesty, Prince Naduzi is still insisting that he has something to do with his way and that the pregnancy belongs to him. You see, I am beginning to believe Abina when he said that Natosi is not well. How can you say something like this about your first son? Is it not obvious? Is it not obvious? In his very presence, this lady denied him saying she never knew him anywhere except here in the palace. So why is he insisting and claiming that this pregnancy is his? Why? Your Majesty, I think I have a perfect idea that will put an end to this problem permanently. Oh, come on, come on. I'm all not ears. Let me get it. Let Nzube undergo a paternity test. In that case, we will know who is lying and who is telling the truth. You're right. I have, I have thought about that earlier. But why I did not go ahead with it is that I, I didn't want the whole issue to go viral. You see? And you think the issue has not gone viral? My husband, this issue is no longer a secret. Let us do this and put a permanent stop to this whole issue before it consumes us. Anyway, you have a point. I will do something about that. I will. 